Hi there, welcome back to Desolation Town, where we are renovating an abandoned town and playing with life stories. And he works in two days, so we've got all day playing at home. So I think we're gonna try and work on his um, self-care specialist um, aspiration here. So we'll visit the spa and we'll also do some yoga classes. I did some edits to Sylvan Glade, so we're going to try and go to Sylvan Glade this time. I hadn't given up on that just yet, so well, hopefully we can, can do that. So do you have any bills to pay? You don't. So you have a bit of money here, which is good. Do we have points? We have 450 points, so we would also like to get some more points, and I'd really like to know if this gives you points. I'm assuming that since it's here, um, it will. Does it say anything? The soul's journey de denotes the overall satisfaction of Dylan's existence. Filling the soul's journey rewards Dylan with various perks to help him help them in life, death, and whatever comes afterwards. Some things that increase the soul's journey are completing the bucket list goals, completing aspirations, completing wants, completing New Year's resolutions, and com leading midlife crisis. Okay, so it almost sounds like you do get points for for having goals. It says goals will naturally accumulate over time. We may be able to just let it do its thing. But anyways, we're going to jump into build mode and get rid of our 25 things first off here before we get into the gameplay. So we were upstairs here, and there are some things up here that don't make a lot of sense like this table and chairs the chairs are okay I guess but this hutch doesn't need to be here um, there's also this double bookshelf here which I mean doesn't need to be here either but it could be there's a living room sofa here which we really don't need it although we could since we don't need this to be in a nursery we could always make this just into a little reading room we could put these chairs in there. I don't know if the ca the sofa will fit. It's also interesting. I'm kind of looking at this, and this actually could be like a little apartment if we moved Brent's room to over here. We could make a little apartment and have someone, like a roommate or something. We'll see. I'm going to jump into build mode. Let me know in the comments if you think Brent should have a roommate and make this just into a little studio apartment or not. And, uh, yeah, we'll get back to it as soon as I know what to do with this space. The other thought I had was, was to divide it into two rooms and make two other bedrooms, because it's not a very big um, house if we would decide to have a family and stuff like that. It would be nice for him to have some more spaces. But anyways, uh, let's get into build mode. Okay, so I moved uh, this rug down here that was up on this deck um, over here and I moved the two chairs into this room cleaned up this room quite a bit took the I put the bassinet into his storage because he doesn't need it right now and I also put the hutch into storage as he has already he already has one down here so we don't really need the hutch either um, so, so yeah, we cleaned up most of his bedroom floor. I think we cleaned it all up. I don't see anything else, so his bedroom is looking much neater. And then we did a lot of stuff on this floor to make it look neater, and I think I also did a lot of stuff on this wall. Not everything, but... Um, so yeah, we're gonna get him going on his aspirations here see if we can't get some points and um, let's see okay so we're gonna hold a class in Sylvan Glade so we're gonna um, invite a whole bunch of people okay so we invited some people over so once they show up then uh, we're gonna head over to Sylvan Glade all right Brent is coming and we got Sarah these are all I think people that he met at the at the um, rec center and Charlie Ross will be over so we're gonna try having a yoga class in Sylvan Glade 
So as soon as everybody has shown up, then we will head over to Sylvan Glade. Oh, we wanted to make them all into a group, right? Okay, so let's travel to Sylvan Glade and then we'll have to... Oh, no, they're all leaving. <laughs> okay, well, we'll go to Sylvan Glade and then we'll invite them after we get there. Okay, so let's see if we can't get everybody to come here. Okay, so we've got some people and now we're gonna... Oh, we'll wait till everybody gets here first. Okay, was that the last person? No, there's one more. And then we'll start a class and we'll ask them to join. Okay. So, let's teach a yoga class. Let's do a public... W well, well, we'll try this one anyways. And then, uh, let's invite to class. Oh, that's awesome. That worked. I mean, I'd like it if they were a little bit more symmetrical here, but I guess it doesn't matter. So we've got six people in our class. That should bring in some money. All right, so we'll hold this class in Sylvan Glade. Let's see if we can get a nice picture of the glade here and everybody doing their yoga class. <laughs> such a peaceful place to have a yoga class. Awesome. Uh, so what else does he need to do for his aspiration? Um, okay, so he's got to hustle. This is part of that. And then make yourself known. Promote your services on massage chairs, message ta message, massage chairs, massage tables, yoga mats, or meditation stools. Take over the spa, host classes, or tend a massage chair. Okay, we can do that after. I'm pretty sure we can do that. So we're just ending up, ending our yoga class right now. Everybody is all relaxed. I like how they all have like mat, like yoga mats that kind of blend in with the surroundings. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Very pink and red. <laughs> red with pink. Red with blue. <laughs> All right, we done the class. Awesome. So six hundred and sixty dollars he made from that. That's pretty cool. Here we can return that to you because you're not going to take it otherwise. And we're just going to leave this here so we can have future yoga classes. Because I did, I did just put this one here specifically. Look at them all getting along after the class. They all feel great. <laughs> all right, thanks everyone. <laughs> You can hang out here for a while if you like. Oh, I was wondering why it was dark. It's not morning, it's night. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do... Oh, we'll take care of your needs here. Uh, let's just get you going to the bathroom. Did I start later in the evening thinking it was... Oh, I did because of uh, the time amount that we played the Kennedy Russo family. Um... We're a little bit off so we're just gonna go right to the next day so we might as well get him to sleep and then we'll we'll do a full day with him as well because yeah and then we'll get it back on track all right so then you can go to sleep and in the morning we'll head over to the spa and we'll do some of the aspiration things at the spa I'll probably add a cemetery to Magnolia Promenade just because we already started putting businesses there and might as well put a cemetery there. So I will look for one on the gallery. I might just build one myself, but I'm kind of hoping that somebody has like a very old build, like old decrepit looking build. Okay, so you're hungry. Let's go get some food. Oh, <laughs> you're embarrassed? Dylan has been feeling unmoored lately. His community and culture is an anchor and maybe it's time to reconnect oh it's because of the Tomarani thing so I know there's what can we do there was something that we could do release oh needs to step outside okay we'll go outside we'll release a lantern maybe that will help him oh he went to this table see that's not a good idea to have that table available because he he basically wants to live this <laughs> in this apartment. Okay, let's go here. Let's release a Tamarani lantern and then we'll head over to the spa. Okay, let's release the sky lantern. Hopefully that will put his mood back up. And then we're going to 
Let's see if we can buy the spa. Who owns this? I guess we can't own that spa. Okay, well, let's head there anyways. Okay, here we are at the spa. And so we can uh, request pedicure, request, request, relax, promote massage chair services. Okay. And then we can tend this. So we'll tend the massage chair. Now we just have to wait for a customer. Are you the owner? No, you're also a massage chair. Oh, you're gonna <laughs> take care of her. Okay. Ravenwood Daily Festivals. Crow's Crossing Celebration of Life is occurring near the center of Crow's Crossing in Ravenwood. This festival can be found every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. The Try Before You Die casket sale also happens in Crow's Crossing every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 11 to 5 p.m. Be sure to check it out for a great deal. The Moon Revelry happens happens every night in Whispering Glen from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. on the full moon. It's an extra special, extra nude affair. <laughs> okay. Um, Afterlife Anonymous occurs every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and every Tuesday and Thursday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Morning Vale for ghosts or grieving sims needing a little support. Interesting. <laughs> Okay, so you tended that. Did that count for anything here? Okay, um, you gained notoriety. Become a spa regular. Maintain a regular customer. Give them 10 wellness paid services such as manicures, yoga classes. It's about fostering long lasting customers. Okay, this is going to take us a long time to, to get this going. All right, so are we still tending this chair? Yeah, we are. Okay, well, there is people here. Um, can we do anything else? Okay, what's upstairs? Okay, we got massage tables, so we can uh, get a massage or hire a massage. Okay, so we can't do that. Uh, we could host a guided me meditation. Oh, let's do let's do this. Okay, we'll just we'll just try and see if people show up. Don't necessarily invite people this time, but. It's a very small space. Okay, we got one customer. Uh, we got. Oh, these are meditation chairs too. Okay, we've got two customers. Who is this? Uh, Landon McAdams, and this is Lisa Elmore. Where's the owner? Massage therapist. Massage therapist. Massage therapist. The Grim Reaper. Have you considered a career in the reaping business? You could really make a killing. There's no need for a dead-end job when the netherworld Department of Death has a robust system of quotas and rewards to ensure that you always, you're always in charge of your own fate. Pick up a scythe and give reaping a swing. Um, we're going to go no because we have a job, but if that shows up for someone else who doesn't have a job, we might consider that. Okay, was your class... Oh, someone left your class? Did they pay for that class or did they just leave? So I haven't found the owner yet. This is uh, Anna Marie. I have no what, idea what happened to Edward. I think he is just gone. Uh, we couldn't find his urn anywhere, so... I guess he will just be gone, which is unfortunate. Would have liked to have a burial. Maybe Anna Marie has it, so. But unless they move into the town, we're not going to find out, I guess. <laughs> that was super weird and I loved it. <laughs> Alright, so let's, um, should we try another guided meditation? Oh, he has a spa regular. Let's, let's try again. Let's do another public one. And whoever wants to join can join. It's too bad that this place doesn't really have a place for a yoga class because everything is, all the rooms are small. I mean, we could probably make something over here or have a second story on this a swimming pool. I kind of like what they did here, but I'm not sure I'm a big fan of these columns. I think I would probably do like more Roman kind of columns because that's kind of 
kind of a look that we're it has but now tomorrow when we play Jen we might do some ghost things with her we might go to that if we're playing on that day we might go to the um, afterlife anonymous <laughs> we, might, we might try that um, but glad is gonna be busy trying to get that ambrosia so we can bring Jen back oh we got two customers again so you are Josh Swenson Swenson and Leanne Soto okay I didn't realize how stressed I was until the weight lifted off my shoulders this really helped me thanks cool so let's go I think can we take a shower here yeah we can take a shower oh he's got bills which we have money for so we can pay our bills why don't we do that after we have our shower it's nice to be able to pay our bills all right what else do you need I think we're going to let him shave his beard off it's getting kind of long <laughs> I want to see what he looks like without his beard he can grow it back if he wants because they do grow back so we'll we'll get him to shave his beard oh look at him smooth face <laughs> he didn't bother changing back into his clothes <laughs> it's a bit revealing <laughs> okay so you're still tending the massage here. Let's let's change into some. Yeah, we wanted to change your outfit. There we go. That's more appropriate for tending. Are you? Nobody's coming to this chair. Okay. Well, why don't we quit that? We were doing pretty good with the guided messages, so we'll just do a public one again. I think we might leave the beard off. He has a nice face. Okay. So we got one, two. Do we have three people in this one? So how are we doing here? Um, two spa regulars and uh, two points for notoriety. I guess you're not taking part. If we probably put this over here, we probably have one more person. Because it's almost like you need, or maybe we should set this up different. So he's making a fair bit of money today. So yeah, there's definitely money to be gained here. So we should probably go home and uh, start our chess game or whatever. We need to eat too. Oh, are you joining? Oh no, you're just doing that. Okay, why don't we head home and then we'll take care of our needs. Maybe play a little bit of chess. He's not really tired. Okay, why don't you use the bathroom? and then you can grab yourself some food so yeah we're not really doing much for uh, the Asbury or the Grim Reapers rewards we're gonna try and get glad to do most of them again tomorrow so that uh, we can move along because we're way behind on that uh, we don't have any more leftovers so let's serve is there a Tamarani um, food so yeah the inside of our house is coming along very nicely the downstairs here looks very put together and once we've got everything cleaned up then we can add some decorative touches we can do some maybe some nicer furniture better cupboards maybe cupboards that suit the house a little bit more because this is more of a traditional kind of house with its front porch and stuff so we're not gonna totally modernize it I think he yeah he likes the decor so I don't know if he I didn't check to see if that had lactose in it preferences he likes fitness violin wellness and photography he likes black okay so we can add some black elements maybe uh, he likes shabby decor I guess <laughs> that's what he's got uh, he likes country fashion hipster fashion and he dislikes hardworking sims okay and he likes alternative music all right so we're let's get you playing some chess now that your needs are all met until you're okay so yeah he works in 13 hours so we won't be here when he goes to work or whatever let's just get this complete and then you can go to bed oh that was a tomarani food good Good to know connected roots okay so 
that was definitely the right choice of food for him. That'll keep him from feeling homesick. All right, we're almost done our chess game. And then we'll just head to bed. And then we'll go through the neighborhood stories since we played a little bit longer with him than the 24 hours. Okay, are you finished? Okay, let's let's head off to bed and then we'll go through the neighborhood stories and see if there's anything new happening. Alan and Ermin have a more distant friendship. Maya and Miley have a cro closer friendship. Glad and Miley have become best friends. I think they were before. Saya and Maya have a more distant friendship. Mart and Brent now despise each other. I think that's old news as well. Uh, Ermin and Miley have broken up. Oh no! Oh, that's sad. Um, Bailey Martin in the Punk family household has left her job as a Lama Scout in the Scout career. And then nothing of note has happened. Alright, so let's jump into the world map and see if there's anything going on there. All right, so no more new Sims. We do have this Sim that moved in last time, so it'll take us a while to get to his house. And um, yeah, so tomorrow we will be with Glad and Jen, and I'll decide which one of them. I think we might play Glad first just to get the Reaper's rewards out of the way, and we'll just let Jen paint or something in the meantime, and then and then the next day we'll we'll play Jen, and maybe we'll go to um, Ravenwood and see what kind of things she can do as a ghost. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to do so. No pressure. And we will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.